All right, looking for a big black tip right here in the end of the North Jetty. We got a 14 inch live mullet out behind the boat. And we're just gonna drift around, let him do his thing. Let's see if he gets blasted. This time of year, I mean, you saw the I mean, big mullet and all are just they're coming in. You know, they're doing their back and forth with the tide right in here now. I mean, this morning, you know, a little low light conditions. That's when I did great on last Sunday. Then by the afternoon, it got hot. I had to put the bait on the bottom. Now. Might be something small. You know, small sharks like to eat a 14 inch mullet too. Oh, now he's falling on it. Yeah. Well, you should feel this thing falling. What we're doing now, what we're doing now is we're catching some croakers so we can feed them to the big hungry fish, big hungry black tip spinners or beyond. Anchored up here on the outside of North Jetty, we got one big croaker already. So let's see what happens. I Bolt taking off out through there. I mean, that's like you just hooked onto a boat. I might have, I might end up having to pull the anchor. Oh my god. Okay, I'm pulling the anchor. Straight and still. 
Okay, now work your way all the way over here and start reeling like a crazy man. You got lines out this far? No. Okay. Now work your way up even a little further. He's going up under that boat. You got, we got to get on this thing, man. We got to get on. I got this guy. Man, now you got to put something on him. Come on, don't don't straight line thing. him, though. Always keep that rod tip bent a little bit. Holy crap, Amundo. <laughs> he's back, he's out at those boats. That's where he's at right now. I never even got to tie on a damn redfish leader. Get on them. When you think you're giving them hell, you ain't giving them hardly anything. He's up to 15 pounds of drag pressure, at least on that reel. And I'm pulling him out to sea. I'm going backwards. Because we cannot have them go over those jetties, that's for sure. Okay, we're finally seeing the leader on this fish. Got to be at least a 20 minute fish. We got the, some leader in our sights. That's a big old black tip. That's a stud stud. Hang on, hang on. He ain't done yet. All right, we got this shark up by the boat. He's hooked in his peck fin. Not even in the mouth. No wonder this is taking so long. We're pulling him in sideways. We weren't going to get that SOB uh, to the boat. No. Well, he broke the, he just broke 200 pound mono right there. Just snapped that like it was a twig. 
Where'd you he was hooked in the peck fin. He was hooked huh. in the fin right here. Man, I'd call that an experience. Huh. You're damn right. That got, is an experience. He got the fish. Didn't get away, though. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Captain Dave. You wanted to say we well, Woo! Fish, man! Oh, man. I'll just about give up. Okay, well let's uh let's go pull up some place and relax for a minute. This is my life. Alright, well the tarpon are everywhere, the mullet are everywhere, the mullet are of every size that you could ever think of. It is go time folks. And I want to stick my camera in a mullet school with tarpon swimming through it. We saw the tarpon, they're just they're just doing this. They're just swimming around and the tarpon are all, or the mullet are all around them. I've already hooked the tarpon, guess what I did? Hooked the tarpon on a dead piece of shrimp and he jumped on the other side of the boat, went underneath, jumped, come right off. Bent my hook right out. So, that's what we're doing now after the sharks and hopefully we don't get another shark. Well, I hopefully just got a shot of the the mullet going by. They're huge. They're going by. We've got some for bait. My bait well's maxed out with croakers and mullet. And then I look, and you can see a tarpon about a foot, two foot underwater, just swimming right on by the boat, right by the boat right here. Man! I got these guys with just finger mullet on the bottom trying to catch a redfish. We ain't, we ain't come up with nothing yet. There ought to be a red out here that's wanting some kind of a uh, snack. Well, it's so go time out here at the jetties right now that we're looking on the other side of the rocks and watching the sharks just blow up on them mullet. Watching the fins streaking through the water. So, it is go time. And what is today? September 21st? Uh, it's September 21st, 2013. Mayport Jetties. It's go time. And their sharks are making me thirsty. Oven right by the boat here. Oh, look at them. Here they go. Here they go. <laughs> Woo! I'd say somebody's busted their ass right about there. Y'all done bait corralling? They're capping. Guess what I did? Don't I turned the cameras on while you're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs>